Um, it's just like you're walking through a submarine. Watch your head. Watch your feet. You know. Hope you have a tetanus shot. I need to figure out something. Crap. Uh, I'll help you down if you need it. I Anybody it. needs a railing, I'll be your railing. You good? prepared that for tours so if you have a chance go ahead and walk back there he's also the guy who uh, uh, has the barbershop slash museum up front uh, it's a very interesting uh, bit of uh, folk art uh, I don't know I think it's open right now but uh, while I have everybody's attention thank you for coming thank you very much this you're very welcome uh, you can't see it, but I am smiling. <laughs> and um, there is, I've set up a GoFundMe page for Billy Tripp, the guy, the creator, the artist. This is called Minefield. He's been working on it since 1989. He's 65. He's better shaped than me. He climbs this stuff every day. Built this by himself. Not a lot of help at all. And um, it's, it's a memorial to his parents who uh, passed away and this is his way of memorializing slash grieving for them. and a little fun fact what he has an arrangement when he dies one day he's going to be buried right over there right on the property the with brown there you go he puts his heart and soul into this so if you have a chance uh, check out the, the GoFundMe page, which is linked in the Minefield information page that you guys know about on my website. Again, I don't know how much water towers cost, but anything that you can do to help them would be greatly appreciated. Would you guys want to do this again next year? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Yeah, no question. Yes. 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 Okay, all right. Everybody having fun so far? Oh, yeah. All yeah. right, let's, let's go get some tetanus. <laughs> I will rejoin you in a minute. I'm gonna... Okay, did you get your drone? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. It's alright. Uh, it would probably be better to go around that way. This is very muddy. Muddy. Very muddy. Brought my mud shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's oh, getting right. the real Tennessee yeah, experience right now. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> uh, look at that. I can tell you're the kind of guy that uh, keeps your shoes clean, right? Oh, yeah. That's right. Dude. Right, dude. <laughs> Especially when I'm not in town. Uh, like, where are you going to go buy a set of shoes? Go to Walmart? Yeah, you just leave your uh, washcloth in the hotel. <laughs> zip, 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 zip. <laughs> My son actually has a tennis shoe cleaning business. Uh, this? One, so. what, do you, what do you guys think that is? A prop. This. Oh, 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 I know what that is. That, that is to carry it. the pipes up though. over uh, the pipe bridge. Uh, no, this is... Uh, what held up a drive, a drive-in movie theater screen? Oh. Yeah, he'll repurpose a lot of this stuff into unrecognizable things. We got augers and three of these fire towers, and each one, when he got them, he had to deconstruct, transport, and then rebuild it on the site by himself. And of course, they don't use these anymore because, well, we have drones now to <laughs> look up high and see if there's a fire. 
This doesn't look like it works, but it does. Um, he's got this door open. If any of you are brave enough to fly in through that hole and then down. I was hoping Nurk was going to be here, but... Come on, Ken, you can do it. No! How big is the gap? That's the right uh, Up there, it, it's about like this. It's big enough. You mean the hole up there? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's big enough for a person to get through. That's smaller than it's a about, GTV. It's about shoulder width. You think you can do it? You would know. have to go in. I'll, I'll bring you separately. You can see what you're dealing with in here, but it's not completely hollow. It's like a little room. Then you'd have to die. Yeah. Might not be enough light. No, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Glow sticks next time. Yeah. There's a really interesting story behind that canoe. Can't remember what it is, but by golly, it's interesting. <laughs> a lot of this stuff moves too. They're on hinges and when the wind goes and it lights up at night. So what you're saying is can you find that? <laughs> I've climbed I've been up there with a there's a dude sitting on a chair. I've been up there. Wow. Oh, oh. Watch this. <laughs> and then uh, here's another place where you can fly. I, Chris, I bet you could do this. Let's go. Let me call it out. Wide open right. here, and then there's holes in the ceiling. You can see. You can your head and major. You could probably do that pretty easily, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Outside of the multi GP micro gate. Yeah. That would be a battery on that. Good find, uh, I just, you just wonder how the metal can you do it? I think I can. Yeah, if you put it in there, you're going to get a good signal. You've done this one. Just... I Dan, have, have you, not. Have you had a drone in there? Like yeah, I have not. No, I've okay, been okay. in there myself. So Where are the? Uh, how many FPV people we got here? Right. Okay. Sort of. What do you, What do you think of of all this? I'm going to break my quad. <laughs> yeah, it's too much for me. <laughs> I don't know. I have to come in slow. You guys brought right? Hey, if anybody needs propellers, I've got bags of them. <laughs> but uh, here you can see uh, where his, and those are his, his father's hands that he traced and cut out. Um, now, out of respect, where are his parents resting? They're not here. They're okay. Not here, but he is. There, there are no bodies here. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just want to make sure I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just didn't want you to think you were walking on anybody. He didn't put his walking on. Watch your head. You can just stand here for plenty of gas, all right? But you can, you can appreciate the art, not just the gas. He didn't build this just you. Oh, yeah, yeah. For us. <laughs> but it is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, when when uh, I, I first discovered this place, I filmed it with my photography drone. And uh, then I got into FPV and I came back and I looked at it differently. You know? It does that to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, everybody's got to see this. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, can I invite my friends? And he's like, yeah. So that's why you're all here. <laughs> Best seat in the house right there. No. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's just, he could tear this up. He totally could, could yeah. tear this up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, really is. 
Uh, if you guys, uh, if you FPV guys want to, you could uh, come in here and start from in here. That'll help you. I don't know if it would, but they should be closer when you have to retrieve it, right? Well, I think this would be a hot spot for uh, a lot of traffic. And you'd think with all this metal, it would interfere with the signal and everything, but it really doesn't. It'll mess with the compass if you try to calibrate the compass. Yeah. But it's an amazing place. And how how long has he been working on this? 1989. 1989, yep. Fun fact, the locals here, most of them don't actually appreciate it for what it is. You have more out-of-towners come and visit really? Yeah, you, a lot of people don't realize how many just people from all over the country stop by and look at this place. Yeah, there are people that would never know Brownsville if it weren't yeah, for this. I sure would. Better Helen's Barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know those websites that have, uh, you know, Wacky America on it? It's, mm. oh, there's always this place on there. Yeah. It's wacky for sure. Oh, yeah. But once you find out the history of it and why he built it, you know artists. They're all a little... Yeah. But Billy's <laughs> such a nice, kind, generous person to share all this with. Because you know. he could be one of those guys who's just like, ah, get off my land, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he's like, sure, come on in, you know. Yeah. I mean, what are we going to hurt? It's all metal, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, how long have you lived here? Uh, my whole life. So you remember when it was first going up? Well, I was born Nani, so no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell how old you're with that. Yeah. The hat and the mask. <laughs> 30, just turned 30, man. Okay. Uh -huh. So your first memory of this place is probably when it was a yeah. lot less. Right? So I live, yeah, just right down the road from here. And yeah, we started building it. My memory, my first memory, it was nothing like this. So, so like every year, you He just you know, adds on to it. You're like, oh, he did that. Yep. You, know? you gotta wonder how much longer he can do it. He's 65, he's still climbing. Oh yeah. All this it stuff. says he will be till the day he dies. Yeah. And uh, I bought, um, you, see, you ever see the gloves that he uses to climb yeah. with? It's like some old welding gloves. I bought him some fancy yeah, yeah. climbing gloves, like for yeah. mountain climbers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't think he used them. No. I, I understand. He, I asked him, I, he goes, oh, I don't want to get them dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, if, you're, if you've been climbing for years using the same gloves, you're going to trust them. So. Yeah. What do you like? Maybe he'll use mine in the yeah. winter just to keep warm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, at the end of the tour, there's uh, the museum up there. I think that's open. There's a there's a fake horse up there in the front. You can sit on. I think <laughs> he charges five dollars for a ride. His name's <laughs> Anthony. His name's Anthony, and he's uh, he is as unique as Billy. <laughs> Great guy. He's a barber, but he just retired. Yeah. So, so, so right they're in the museum. <laughs> so there's you, no more haircuts. No, he doesn't have haircuts. He, he retired from haircuts, and now he's just in the museum. But okay. It was yeah. crazy because you'd walk in and just you have people looking around. And he's just in this little booth cutting hair. It's right there. Wow. What else can you add that being yeah. a local is, is that I haven't? Yeah. I just know as a visitor this stuff. Did you ever come out and watch it, like the progress when he would be working on it or anything? Uh, no, I just noticed the new things. I mean, he's always here working, but like I saw the boat come up, so I just went here and took a picture of the boat. I was like, oh, the boat's here, cool. I did document him putting that man up, and I put cameras on him. It's on my channel. That's an interesting video to see how he's actually doing yeah. it. Yeah. He's an amazing guy. That you never know when he's working. He's he's all the time out here, so. He doesn't, doesn't do a lot during the winter, no. but whenever it's warm. So, all right, let's go crash and drop. <laughs> we need to build more bridges, especially in the water. Yeah. That'd be helpful. Yeah. I think you guys have to do see you fly your drone through that little square. Yeah. Right in the walk through like we did because yeah. the perspective that I just gave you guys is something that not everybody gets to see. <laughs> it really 
to be able to be under it and look up like this, that's what makes it not. It yeah. really just kind of makes it all so right. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then he could charge people. Oh, yeah. And then buy more but stuff. He would. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't, he wouldn't charge yeah. people. Uh -huh. Well, thanks, man, for being a cameraman. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, cameraman. I'll take care of what Yeah. I love these cameras. Keep forgetting you can't see emotion in the, under the mask.